Hey guys, what's up? I'm Sectatron here from Clash of Clans Manual, here with another video, and in this one I'm showing a pretty crazy 3-star that I had on one of these Town Hall 10 bases. So not the most upgraded base, um, okay anti-2-star uh, base design, so I was pretty surprised I got the 3-star, but uh, pretty crazy attack. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, waited a little while before I dropped my troops down just in planning. I was going to do a queen walk and I wanted my queen to go starting in the kind of left hand side, bottom left, and work her way up to the top left. Uh, but she actually ended up going the wrong way on me. Uh, so as I fast forward to when we start, right here you can see uh, dropping down a giant and then my queen. Uh, I dropped a minion here to try to make my queen go up north and uh, join up with the rest of my kill squad up there. But as you can see, she's going to step up, uh, take out a few of these point defense, and then she's going to go down south. So, uh, not what I had planned for. I thought it might happen, uh, but I wasn't, you know, completely expecting it. So it caught me a little bit off guard. Uh, you can see I'm going to start dropping a few minions uh, just in each of these corners to start taking out these trash buildings, just so I don't run out of time. So here go the minions in the three corners. Uh, but anyway, my queen's working her way around. She did get a lot of defenses taken out. But another thing is, because I didn't plan on her going this way, I dropped the healers in a bad place, and now they're going to get shot down by that air defense. So not getting a huge value from those healers. I wasn't expecting the air defense to shoot at them because I thought she'd go up north. But anyway, I adjust and drop my golem, bust him in uh, with some wall breakers, dropping a few wizards, uh, creating the funnel and taking out some of those defenses. Here goes the jump spell. Uh, you can see that going down. Now coming in with the Valks and the King. I have two Rages, uh, which I'm going to use on my Valks. And then going to come in with some Hogs up top. Uh, you can see a Dragon, two Balloons coming from the CC. Uh, it gets pretty crazy in there, but somehow the Valks survive long enough. Uh, you can see the Hogs go down right here, dropping a heal right away. There's a giant bomb up there. Uh, but I drop another Rage, and somehow the Valks, with just enough health, uh, one swing under Rage, they get that other Inferno down. Got some Balloons coming. Uh, I was actually expecting to drop the balloons on the opposite side because I thought my queen would go up north and I'd attack from the top left. But uh, as it worked out, the back end ended up being up there, so I dropped the balloons up there. Works out. You can see those hogs are still left over, and they're going to go over and actually take out that wizard tower. And then that one balloon is going to help out along with the queen take out that last defense. Giant bomb goes off, but I actually have a ton of wizards left over uh, for cleanup because I didn't really have to create a funnel. There wasn't a whole lot of buildings down where I entered the base. So as you can see, I actually ended up getting the three star. Pretty crazy attack, just wanted to show you guys this. I uh, came out from one of the wars I just had in One Hive Prime. Uh, so yeah, things are going great right over here, having some fun, and hopefully some more gameplay I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, I'm trying to do a live on Battle Day, but just, it's tough to get recording right when the Battle Day starts. I'll do my best though, and you guys should see some more stuff on my channel soon. That's gonna do it though for this video. I'll see you guys later. Bisect the Tron out.